Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at how to use pivot tables in Excel to give an itemized list of products. So we have always seen how to use pivot tables to aggregate data. For instance, I can create a pivot table from this data and I can aggregate the quantity of chai sold for instance and the quantity of coffee sold for instance by adding all this. But sometimes I would just like to have a list of items belonging to that category. So in this case I do not really want to aggregate anything. I just want an itemized list of items for example chai, coffee and so on. So we can do the same thing using a pivot table and let's see how to do that. So the first thing as always is to convert your data into a table and to do that we click anywhere in our data and you can either go to the insert menu and click on table or you can use the control T shortcut. So I'm going to use control T shortcut and yes my table has headers so I check that option and click on OK. So now I'm going to use the shortcut Alt NV to create a pivot table or you can go to insert pivot table and the key thing we're going to select is we want to place this pivot table in a new worksheet and we are also going to add this data to the data model and the reason why we do that is going to be clear in a minute. So let me do that and click on OK. All right. So I want for every category the list of items. So let's see what happens if I just move this to the count of values. I get the number of items in that category. Right? I get that there are three items in the produce category. I get that there are five items in the seafood category or nine items in the beverages category. But I do not get to see the names of those items. And if I also want to see the names of the items, I will need to add what is known as a DAX measure. And to do that, I right click on the table here and select this option that says add measure. All right. And let me give it the name of item list. And I'm going to start writing my formula here. So we are going to use the formula concatenate x. And let's read the description for it. It evaluates an expression for each row on the table and then returns the concatenation of those values in a single string result separated by the delimiter that you provide. So this sounds good. And the first argument is going to be your table itself. And my table is table 13. And in my second argument, I want to provide the item. So I'll use table 13 item. And my third argument is going to be a delimiter. Let me just give comma followed by a space. And as you can see, the other arguments after this are optional. So I can just close my parenthesis here and click on OK. And you can see that this has been added to my list of fields. And I'm going to just drag this to the sum of values. And you can see that I now have the itemized list for each category. So I can call this category. And you can see that these are the different items in that category. Likewise, these are the different items in the produce category, the different items in the seafood category and so on. And this is this last row grand total contains the list of all the items that you have in your data. So as you can see, it can be very useful, especially if you have a lot of text in your data and you want to get a quick summary of something like the categories or the items in a category to add a measure by adding your data to the data model and clicking this option that says add measure, writing a formula such as concatenate x and then dragging that measure to your sum of values column. As always, thank you 
for taking out the time to watch this video. Goodbye and take care.